Mipdo, bipdo, ba 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 it is Happy Father's Day. I forgot. I didn't. I didn't forget. I'm going to see my dad today. But I don't have kids. My only kids, my dog. G'day, Alex. Uh, thank you, Topolis. Me too, mate. Got a show and tell today. Just some new models that turned up. I'm excited. Uh, <clears throat> but not that exciting. Uh, it should be a pretty relaxed day today, team. Haven't really, uh, no real time pressures around finishing this piece. Um, yeah, just looking forward to a nice, relaxing painting experience with this chap. Chap head. Uh, the box art for this is available to see now. That's Hugo. Yeah. Ah, cool. I thought I might have had it saved. <laughs> the box art's awesome. Hey, Thami Alonzo. Guy's a freak. Gregory. I mean, when you do it for a career, right, when this is what you do full time, you've got to be able to put yourself into it. And it's probably one of the things that lets me down is I'm just... I'm not that interested in the result. You know, I don't, I don't feel the need for my result to be something that makes people go, wow, this is fucking awesome. I want me to go, yeah, this is fucking awesome, but I'm not too worried about 
other people. And, and I think when you do paint a box art, that's <clears throat> what you want. You want people to be like, holy shit, man. This shit's fucking wild. Uh, the the Alana the Bloody Blade bust. I did. I've painted that model. She's a great figure. Absolutely cracking figure. I'm trying to stop myself from buying things at the moment. I feel like I've got too many in my collection of models to be painted. The, uh, the boxes behind me is starting to get a little bit excessive, really. <laughs> I had all those Ignis art busts turn up and then I had my Limbo miniatures turn up and then I've got, uh, I've got a new one to show up today as well yeah excessively so let's let that dry for a bit check this out run DMC and Jam Master J run run DMC and Jam Master J run Love this, love this uh, set. And I'm not a historical buff, right? But I loved the Romans and I regretted not getting the set. I know you can still buy the individuals, but I regretted not getting it. Oh, cool. Check this QR code for free access to all the upcoming. That's awesome. Don't, don't scan that. Fuck. I better cover that up. In case people try and cheat. It's mad. Limited no, no, 58. Um, yeah, love, love this. The Singatorix. This guy. Look at the sculpt. It's awesome. I wonder who the, I wonder who the sculptor is. Actually. Ramon Martinez. What a champion. Good work, Ramon. He's an awesome man. Look like that was sculpted by hand. You can just tell. Just got a different feeling. I like the fur, I like the way the fur is sculpted. That's nice. The hair's nice. That's cool. This little set comes with a dog. I don't know if you get the dog in all the sets, but I don't know if I'll use the dog, but look at these cool shields ready for patterns. Severed heads. Love a cheeky severed head. Can't wait. Can't wait. So um I don't know when we'll, when we'll paint those. Um, I was thinking, I was thinking that might be an entry for next year's QMHE. So I'm not in a not in a rush. Uh, these are from Fer Miniatures, my friend Fernando Ruiz Ciano. Um, 
But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll put them on a nice big plinth, like something like this, big round one. All three of them on there. It'll be tremendous, like I did with the pirates. There's something about, there's something about like, bust sets, like combinations of busts, that I really dig. Don't know why, I just like that, that aesthetic of people standing there, like Lucas's Pirates was so good. I see you. Cause I did, uh, I did the pirates. I also did two of the Nico Galaxy girls together on a plinth. Two girls, one, uh, two girls, one resistance. Um, which was awesome. Yeah, I just, I dig, and I did the Angel of Demon, obviously, I just dig busts that are telling a story together, and I don't think, um, I don't think it's a space that we're seeing a, a lot of, uh, or haven't seen a lot of until, uh, recent times. Hopefully we'll see more of it. Oh my god. The trailer for the Wheel of Time series dropped. I don't know if everyone is into the Wheel of Time or not. It was an absolutely seminal part of my childhood. I started reading the Wheel of Time when I was in grade five or three. One of those two. I feel like it was three, but maybe it was grade five. Maybe it was five. Anyway, seminal, seminal part of my uh, childhood. I read every single one of those books as they were released uh, over a period of, well, the last one released in like 2012, I think. Yeah, just to have a TV show made, which whether or not it's at the same level of Game of Thrones, I can't see. Why is my camera failing? Why is this failing? Why is this happening to me? I don't like this. This is annoying. It's happened a lot recently. Stupid camera. Anyway, wheel of time, get excited, I certainly am. G'day Plank Walker. The 
volunteer. I see you. I haven't actually, no, it's ups. It pisses me off that they haven't released it to streaming services like Disney Plus. Put it on fucking Disney Plus, you fucks. Come on now. At least let me see the goods. Yeah. That sucks. Just. Yeah. Going to the cinemas at the moment feels. A bit hard for me. For no reason other than I'm lazy and I've got other things on. Is it good, Topolus? Is it good? Do you recommend it? If it's not good, I'd be utterly shocked. It's Marvel after all. I haven't really put a foot wrong in... Really? I haven't put a foot wrong in a long time, in my opinion, anyway. Other people are entitled to disagree, but... exciting I mean I yeah I'm not surprised though every every movie they release I just keep thinking to myself fuck when are they gonna do something that isn't good and even even the, the the last movie that everyone said it was like yeah was fucking Captain Marvel and even that was not bad I watched Black Black Widow and felt the whole time through that um, it was a it was a fun, engaging, nice balance between action, comedy, and pathos, and gave Scarlett Johansson a fitting send off. Florence Pugh's character is all time. Like, I can't wait for her to be involved in the next few series as if she is.
not a big enough uh, fan of the Taskmaster in the comics to know um, if it was a big departure or not. Didn't bother me. The Palantir. I see you. I can't believe no one's as enthusiastic about the Wheel of Time trailer as I am. I'm disappointed. I'm absolutely shattered. Is that is that the one with um, Mandarin in jail? That one? No. That's definitely not that one. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that. Hello, my name's Trevor. Trevor Slattery. <laughs> Much better, mate. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Uh, yeah, I was just I was just exhausted on Wednesday night. I haven't been that exhausted in a long time. So, I pretty much went to bed and conked out. Yeah, thank you. Thank you someone for letting me talk about something I'm excited about. I'm excited for Shang-Chi as well, I suppose. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking legit. I mean, the the issue is, is that a lot of a lot of fantasy book series now got optioned based on the success of Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones has opened the genre up in a massive way, but along with success. <laughs> that's a good call along with that success comes imitators that are terrible and I don't think that the Amazon Prime TV show is going to be one of those but that risk is always present so let's hope that falls on the side of being like Game of Thrones and people are excited about it. I mean, I'm going to love it, right? But I'm not the target audience they need to hit. Because I was going to love it anyway. <laughs> well, I'm hoping, and fuck, fuck Ben, I'm hoping that it's not the Lord of the Rings is good. Uh, I read something the other day, I can't confirm the veracity of it, but it was that three episodes are going to drop on November 19th. And then after that, be one episode a week. G'day, Gore. Mm. 
You don't like it, Fox Lottle. You're not liking the, the trailer. You're killing me. Come on. Come on, you can't do it. <laughs> Why not? Look, the absolute, concrete, undeniable fact is that when you release it weekly, you create more hype. People talk about it. Generates buzz. Undeniable fact. Now, the only, the only thing I reckon that you could throw up as an argument against doing that is Stranger Things. Stranger Things would be the only, only one that's bucked the trend of it being like, release it at once and people won't talk about it. But Stranger Things was absolutely obscenely unique in its appeal. I don't think this show will have that level of engagement. Interesting, interesting. Well, I liked the actor they cast for Rand. Um, I liked the actor they cast for Matt. Perrin was taller than Rand, which I didn't like. But aside from that, he seemed fine. I don't know. I'm, I'm okay with it. My, my challenge uh, to you is people were talking about Tiger King for about a month and then no one talked about it. I haven't talked about Tiger King. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, look, I, I actually enjoyed, uh, particularly with um, the Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Loki and, and WandaVision. I actually enjoyed coming on and talking each week about like a Mad Dog episodes. I think it's awesome that we can that we can have because I tell you right, back in the day, Captain Cap, back in the day, Buffy and Angel. I used to watch that religiously every week. And when when an episode of Buffy or Angel would drop, I'd be on the fucking message boards. Yep, message boards. Back in the day talking about the latest episode and it was it was awesome <laughs> absolutely awesome and nowadays a uh, TV show drops you binge it in a weekend and then we stop talking about it <laughs> but when you got a week to week episode I get it, I get it. And I agree with Topulus's point as well. I need to get your money lined up. And Veritas, I'm pretty sure the Stormlight Archive has actually been optioned as a book series already. This is what I was saying before. Like, so many fantasy novels have now just they've become hot property. Um, people are trying to recapture what they had with Game of Thrones. Brandon Sanderson talked about it, I'm pretty sure. So I'm all for I'm all for the waiting. Because I was so jazzed for the last episode of Loki, I was just frothing. It happened, but you remember I did remember I did my six hour stream and then I was at 5 hours and 57 minutes or something, and I was like, Loki started, see ya! <laughs> I didn't even hold out to get to 6 minutes. 6 to 6 hours. What a joker. Come on, Dino. Get your head in the fucking game, mate. Uh, we were actually talking about this before. I haven't. Topless has. Um, that one I probably will have to wait until it comes out. I can't see myself going to the movies in the next few weeks, but I might, I might. Just depends.
Oh, wow. There's a conflicting opinion. Topless rated as a top five movie. Ah, oh, thanks, Miss Jaina. Eight months of subscription. Who would have believed that I'd been around for that long? Certainly not I. <laughs> you want me to have a Twitch baby with you? I'm a bit uncomfortable by that offer. Okay. As long as I can be the one that gives birth. Let's do I think there's probably an element of truth in that, but I would also say Marvel's Marvel's plays over the last ten years have often not been immediately apparent as to why they do things until down the track a bit. Certainly after after the first Avengers movie things. Like Guardians of the Galaxy is a great example. Everyone was like, the fuck? <laughs> Why the fuck you got Guardians of the Galaxy in there? No one's even heard of these fucks. And obviously it turned out to be an awesome movie, which certainly helped, but... Until you watch... The later Endgame Infinity War and stuff... It feels... Like such an essential part of what they were trying to do with the story, so... I'd say there's an element of that, but I also think that they're definitely trying to set themselves up for something in the future that we aren't privy to right now. I've been wrong before. It was a while ago. Which is an admirable goal. Ignorance is Bliss is also a great quote from The Matrix, which is a very apt movie for what you're talking about. <laughs> I also fondly remember those times. My girlfriend thinks I still live in those times. <laughs>
I uh, rewatched some of Matrix 2 not that long ago. I actually don't think the Matrix 2 was uh, was the issue. I think it was the third one. The third one that lost me. I was actually pretty keen on the second one. I wonder, um, this is an interesting question. So when the Wachowski sisters made The Matrix uh, back in the day, they were the Wachowski brothers. Do you, do you say the Wachowski brothers when you refer to the time they were making The Matrix or do you say the Wachowski sisters because that is how they would like to be referred to now? I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> At least they tried. At least they tried to do something that hadn't been done before. And in many ways they succeeded. The Wachowskis. That's a good point. Hmm. Okay. Speaking of Elliot Page, ah, oh, Phoenix. G'day, mate. Speaking of Elliot Page, when is the next season of the Umbrella Academy due out? Seriously, you're killing me. <laughs> What's going on, champion? Dust from on. Loopy. It's been a while since I've watched uh, the Animatrix, but I do remember enjoying it a lot back in that in that period of time. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Yeah, uh, that's all because Flick set it up for me. When he was on stream one day, I was like, hey Flick, set this up for me, bro. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Because I'm paying him money, he felt bad. So he did it. What a nice guy. Seriously, when's Umbrella Academy coming out? It's fucking killing me. Because that was an awesome show and it was fucking on a good trajectory. Frog Jim, it's the Eye of Sauron, mate. Come on now. It's not finished yet. I just started doing some other stuff so I could get a bit better understanding of what the final thing's going to look like. So I need to know how much glowing. And also, I'll fucking kill you, mate. Is it a holy gourd? Uh. 
Why on earth would she be holding a pumpkin? You guys are absolute knobheads, I'm telling you. Why? Why would she be holding a pumpkin? You friends. That's so far away! Peen the bean! <laughs> no, it's so far away. Why does it have to be so far away? I don't like that at all. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Yeah, I don't fucking appreciate that, hey. Hey, look, all I'm going to say is the bend, I'm fucking hovering over the bend button right now. Just ready to fucking drop that hammer. The God of Sauron. I can. Watch me. I will. Don't think I won't. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm capable of. Yeah, so I'm going to see my dad later on today. We're going out for lunch. I looked after Hugo last night, babysat little boy. We had a good time. <laughs> Alright, I do need to I do need to calm you your fucking farms on this gourd shit. Maybe we should call her Cinderella. <laughs> uh, Nazumi, she is 110. Sky. 110. The uh, Kickstarter is not far off now, friends, so. I'll be painting another one of these busts during the Kickstarter. This one. While the Kickstarter's on. Fuck, it's cool being famous and popular, right? Get cool models and shit. Oh, love it. You don't, I don't disagree with you, mate. 
I'm on your side. <laughs> yeah, Alan Pizarski is a fruit loop. That's fair enough. I'm supportive of that in principle. Let's do some crazy shit. Uh, Nazumi, I don't, uh, I don't generally take on commissions um, unless they're models that I really want to paint. And even then, I don't usually take on commissions. Um, so what I usually do is I just put my models up for sale when I finish painting them. But if I do take on a commission, my going rate's usually 30 to 40 bucks an hour. Most of the time I will paint stuff and it will take me about, something like this is taking, I think I've probably spent about 10 hours on so far. problem with doing uh, commissions is oh, I can just never guarantee that I'm going to have the uh, same level of enthusiasm when I start to when I finish and If I'm painting my own model and I lose steam, it's okay. If I'm painting someone else's model, that's a problem. I always, always prefer hair sculpted like this. Yeah, for sure. If 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 I have done something that I think is cool, I'm absolutely gonna gonna tack on a little bit. Real cool, mate. You have to do it. So that's not to say that I don't take on commissions. It's just I like to be very very certain. Guns are on. Uh, latest plate bust, the water nymph. What, what are you referring to? Which bust?
would be. Um, it depends. Ah. It depends. Uh, sometimes I uh, come with an idea to the piece. Um, sometimes I don't. Thanks for following Mezuris. Um, Sometimes I'll have a piece of artwork I want to re refer to and use colours from that. Sometimes I have an idea that I'm like, yeah, I want to try and do this with my model. Uh, I have applied some matte varnish to this. At the end of my last painting stream, I threw some matte varnish down. And other times I just grab a colour and start painting. I don't have a process, mate. You can... You can ask as many questions as you want, that's that's why we're here. Ask away. Give me something to talk about. I dig it. Um, okay, am I happy with that thus far? So, the matte varnish does indeed kill the saturation, yes. Um, so, I talked about it a little bit before, but I use the matte varnish throughout the process so I can see how everything's working together, how smooth the blends are. But then the last thing that I will do is I'll actually use another varnish through a can normally that's just not as matte as the AK it's got a little satin in it because the little bit of satin helps the uh, colours pop just a tiny bit more thanks Jet Uh, well, I used to use testers, yeah, and then, but it's really hard to get that shit now because of, I don't know, they haven't actually made any announcements, but apparently the word on the street is, is that they're not making dull coat anymore. So I've replaced my dull coat with some Tamiya. It's not as nice. I sure can danzer on, provide you some feedback, as long as it's not a model I've already provided you feedback on. Sorry mate, I wasn't aware that no professional painters used varnish. Must have missed the fucking memo. <laughs> Do you want me to tell the story again?
I'll tell the story here. A few years ago, uh, I was trawling around the Heavy Metal Facebook group. Now, I don't, I don't trawl around uh, much Facebook groups, but for whatever reason, I was on this one on this particular day. And I don't usually reply to comments. I usually let other people respond to commentary and stuff. Normally I'm just like, yep, whatever mate. Fucking answer your own questions, you peanuts. Etc. But uh, on this particular day I was feeling magnanimous and generous. And I was like, I shall respond to this friend. So I look at the post and it's, it's a guy goes, oh hey guys, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, just paying him off first bust or whatever the fuck he was asking. He's like, oh, I'm just not sure. I want to use a varnish. Mm, is that alright? Am I allowed to use a varnish and stuff? On my finished model? And this very kind gentleman whom uh, I've never met before popped on to this guy who was a novice painter asking a question and he responded with no professional painter uses bat varnish. None. None anywhere in the world. Nobody does. Now if you know me, that's waving a red rag to a bull. Because there's two things I cannot abide. One is stupidity. The other is idiocy. And that just fell into the, the things of both. Um, so I, tr I trundled into the thread just fucking big <laughs> deal it's like are you sure are you sure that no professional painters use that varnish like 100% confident with that statement you don't want to revise that to say N in my experience anything and he fucking doubled down he was like nah and and I said, I'd like at this point, I, I was just like, okay, this guy's a fucking twat. But he, he responded with, uh, look, Alfonso Geraldes stayed at my house. That was his, that was his argument. Alfonso had stayed at his house once for Crystal Brush. And that was his qualifications for saying that no professional painter uses mad varnish. And I just, I was like, <laughs> okay, my guy. <laughs> okay, if that is it, if that is if that is the fucking thing you want to die on, mate, you, you do you. I'm cool. I'm good. Thank you. Have a fantastic day. Look, I could have, I could have just absolutely torn strips off in. I could have talked about my good friend David, whom has even posted on Instagram showcasing his usage of matte varnish. I could have talked to many, many, many other painters. Roman Lepart, Raphael Pika, two guys from Massive Voodoo who use matte varnish. But I just decided to look, no. No, I'll let this great man try and around. But you know the thing that pisses me off, right? This is the thing that, that fucks me off. It's like, you've got a new person here who's who's asking for guidance and asking for help. And you know what you should say to a new person who's asking for guidance and help? You should say, why don't you try it? Why don't you try it? Might work for you. Didn't work for me. But you should try it for yourself. Because fuck me. The majority of this fucking hobby is just... It's about learning shit for yourself. Aha! Hello there. My name is Unexplained Miniatures. I'm a very attractive man. If you don't learn shit for yourself, you're never going to fucking improve. But anyway, so I just... I tapped out. But now it's a running gag in this stream that... Alfonso Geraldi stayed at my house. And no one else uses matte varnish. Because... Alfonso stayed at their house. Running gag. Anyway. 
Oh mate, I, I'm not gonna get started. I'm not gonna get started because fuck. Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake. All right, so we've got Dan Zeron's uh, picture up on the screen. Let's have a look, shall we? Oh, we've got a potato photo for starters. Just colouring in, mate. Just colouring in. That's another good one. He's still floating around the King of Death fucking thing. The knob end. Uh, I mean, are you are you asking for are you, Dan Zeron, Are you asking for for change for things to change, or are you just asking for what do I think of it? I wouldn't make any changes at this point, mate. I would just enter that and have a go. But two things that jump out to me. First, the rope is out of scale for the figure. Doesn't look right to me. Looks like the rope is too thick. It's like three finger widths. It doesn't, doesn't, doesn't look as good as the rest of the piece. Now, most people use um, string for rope. I would use wire. But small, small issue. I would still enter it as it is. Uh, and I think um, the second uh, thing is the leather uh, doesn't look as good as the rest of the figure. The skin tone's great. Um, the the red is awesome uh, the non-metallic metals on the knee pad and that gold bit are awesome um but yeah the leather when i look at the leather doesn't look good now that might just be the shit photo but yeah your resin your resin pour is not great either but that's hard that's just practice but yeah i like it i think it's great mate i think you'll do well uh, the colouring in story, it's not, it's not much of a story, but we were in the, uh, Top Hills and I were in the Kingdom Death, uh, Discord, and what was going on, we were, we were chatting away about some, some dude, Grand She was his name, came in, and he was talking about how he doesn't think people that paint models are um, artists, he's like, it's just colouring in, mate. I don't give a fuck about painters and stuff. He's like, it's just colouring in. And Topless and I posted some pictures of people who just coloured in models, <laughs> i.e., Michael Pazarski. colouring in. Yep. I think Topless got like actually offended by it. <laughs> the King of Death Discord. Because he's like, fuck you man. <laughs> Topless got really upset. I don't remember the context around why he, um, I think he was, if Topolis is around, I think Topolis is probably playing D&D &D now, but 
you might remember. What what was the what was the other context? It, what, wasn't he wasn't he talking about how he didn't want to pay for a Patreon or something like that? Do you remember? I don't remember. Fucking ages ago. Yep, classic Kirill, classic Kirill piece of absolute bullshit. I might bring that up right now, actually, because... you got to see this. you got to fucking see this. It's fucking wild. This is, this is why... <laughs> I am bad at this fucking thing, alright? This is why. I just gotta find the fucking thing. He hasn't posted on his socials yet, the fucking joker. posted on Facebook, he hasn't posted it on. Fucking come on. Come on! Here we go. Alright, I'll just do it this way. So look, I'm pretty good at painting things quickly. What the fuck, Kirill? Seriously, mate. Can you fucking stop? Fucking stop what you're doing. Fuck's sake. Just, just fuck off. <laughs> Alright? Just, just fuck. <laughs> I just... I don't know. Fuck's sake. It's a one off it's a one off sculpt. I feel like you really you really get you really get a sensation of just how obscenely good it is when you see that and you go, Wow, that's a cool sculpt and then you go, Fuck it's just another level. The sculpt's great, but what Kirill's done to it is just Yeah. Calm down, Carol, please. <laughs> it's fucked. Uh, it's fucked. I love that guy. I, um... I met him, Monty, a couple of years ago. Tried to get him to come to Australia, and he was quite keen at the time. He's a, he's a classic dude. Big Russian. Loves his vodka. Awesome dude. Cryo cheese, thanks mate. It's an interesting it's an interesting comment, Nazumi. I have to think um, at some point in my life, if I was willing to dedicate enough time and effort that I could achieve something like that. So that doesn't make me want to quit, that makes me want to try harder. But there's also a big part of me that thinks it doesn't matter what I do, how much time I devote, that's just kill. That's just magic. Get out of Bosch. And I think it's nice that there are people in the world that make you aspire to be better at something. Kirill is someone that inspires me to be better at both painting and drinking vodka. <laughs> awesome mate
Trust me, I understand. But I do think, I just, I think sometimes we say that as a joke. And I think we should, we should not say that. I think we should say, hey, let's fucking, let's go. Let's get stuck in. Let's be the next Kirill. Instead of, I'm going to hang up my brushes. Just a mental thing. Just a mental thing. I think it's okay to acknowledge when something makes you feel like it works no good. Like when you see a work by Kirill and you're just like, well, that makes everything I've ever done look like shit. Just trust me, I, I fucking do that every time that fucker posts a model. <laughs> Fuck you, Kirill. But I don't think that it should be disappointment. I think it should just be I shouldn't be disappointed for long it should be something that inspires me because if Kirill can do it fuck anyone can do it Just FYI, I'm taller than Carol. I am taller than Carol. <laughs> Just FYI, so fuck. Carol's got nothing on me. Suck shit, Carol. Suck shit. It is, mate, it is. There's a there's an ancient Chinese proverb. Well, I don't actually know if it's an ancient Chinese proverb or where the fuck it just comes from. It might even be from like Sun Tzu or something. May all your dreams but one come true. So then what do you have to live for? I feel like if you achieve all your dreams, then you just fucking get new dreams, mate. That's what I do. But I like the. Intent of that. Yeah. I'll have to tell Masklins he's made a, he's made an egregious error there. Should have fucking chopped it. I'm gonna send a message. Masklins, chop that fucking frog off, mate. Get rid of it.
feel like I've taken too long on this model. That sounds like a dumb thing to say, but I feel like I've gotten better at doing things such as non-metallic metal gold as I've painted this model. I feel like some of the gold that I've done on this is better than some of the gold that I've done elsewhere on it. Yeah. I live in an apartment complex, so uh, I'm on the ground floor. Sometimes people are hanging out at the elevator having a chin wag. And my painting desk is right at the front of my house. It is topless, it is good to take your time. Both in miniature painting and in love making, mate. Speaking of, when's my hot tub stream? Need something to fap to. <laughs> Good. How many, how many followers have I got now? Wonder. I haven't really looked in a while. 1,733. Tell you what, if we get to 2,000 today, I'll do a hot tub stream. And I'll fly top of those missuses over to join me. See you, Duns on. Good luck in the competition, mate. Cool with that, Thomas. No, not at all, mate, but we'll figure it out. It is a running joke about the hot tub stream. We've been trying to get topless to do a hot tub stream for a while. He had uh, a stream where he said, or well, someone said for him, if you get to 100 followers, you do a hot tub stream. I don't recall who it was. I feel like it was me. Uh, I said I would do a hot tub. I said if you get to 100 followers and I top of this year, we'll do a hot tub stream. And he sort of was trying to be entertaining. And I uh, was like, oh, 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 okay. Or maybe it was his missus in the chat that said, okay. Whatever happened, I then used my incredibly great, oh, thanks, Traxy, uh, my incredibly popular social media presence to ensure that he got to 100 followers in like the next day. <laughs> Even though it had taken him like eight months to get to 50. Tell it the truth, get out of the way of a good story, <laughs> topless.
Have you ever used those wood elves in a game or anything, mate? What are you doing with them? Sell them? Give them away? Ah, cool. Yeah, we uh, had a couple of people talk about it so far. I haven't seen it yet. Did you like it? Nice. Florence Puge. Found her to be quite hysterical. A bit where she's like doing the hair flip. Fucking cracked up. I haven't seen Midsommar, no. Don't even know what that is, actually. What is it? TV show? Book? Movie? Oh, please. I don't watch horror films. It's horrifying. Let's add some pinky purple. It is eyeshadow. There you go. Ah, oh. well, maybe I'll go watch it. We need more saturation! Ah. For those who've been around my stream for a while, you would remember I'm my little kitty cat who my lost a few months ago. I still think about it all the time, um, but every now and then something triggers me, and this is something that uh, triggered me a couple of weeks ago. That's her teeth marks in this Warlock purple, Hastor purple. She decided to have a bite of it. <laughs> Funny cat. The paint slowly dried in this paint over the last however many years because she bit it and there's air getting into it. <laughs> Little peaches.
Yeah, it is. It is has indeed frozen. Yes, uh, it froze when I. Um, reset my main camera. It's actually just a picture. <laughs> I usually just forget to fix it here. Yeah. My friend Patrick, who is the person who was responsible for this Kickstarter and these these cool models, I showed him a picture of this the other day, and he's like, "She needs makeup." I was like, "What are you talking about? Why does she need makeup, mate?" I'm like, "Girls wear makeup." I said, "Yeah, all right, fair enough." Let's see if this whole situation is going to work if I do this. Done. Next pumpkin comment. Ban. Ban. Don't think I won't do it either. Just fucking try me. Try me, you dogs. Fucking try me. I didn't think so. Glass orbs are easily fucking 50 times harder than non-metallic metal. 100 times harder. And you know, the best one I've ever done was when I was like, fuck this shit, and I just slapped some shit on there. Just went completely irregular, completely unplanned. Didn't overthink it, just went like crazy. And somehow it, it worked and looked exactly like glass. Every time I've tried to do something, like actively think about it, no, nah, looks dog shit.
watched a great video last night on the internet. As you all know, I like to watch YouTube videos. You know how you get on a YouTube bender where you just like start somewhere and then three hours later you look at the time and it's fucking 3 a.m. and you're like, what the fuck am I doing watching Bilal Garengareng singing with some other Turkish guy? Um, well, that happened, but no, I watched I watched an interview with um, Russell Crowe and Henry Cavill on uh, the Graham Norton show. And... Um, yeah, those two met. Henry Cavill was a young, young man, and sort of met Russell Crowe, and asked him about acting. Russell Crowe gave him some advice, and some fifteen years later, they're working together on Superman, Man of Steel. And Russell Crowe was like looking at Henry Cavill, like, "Do I know you from somewhere?" I just thought it was a really cool story. Really cool to have, you know, someone whom you gave advice to and sent some goals to. Apparently, gave him a, sent him a letter and stuff as well. It's just yeah, it's worth worth finding that uh, YouTube video. Yeah, the guy. The guy. It's a really, it was a really good story. Russell Crowe gets a fucking bad rap sometimes in Hollywood for being just a knob end, and he is, because he's an Aussie. But yeah, it was a good story. So in case um, I haven't really explained what I'm doing with this sort of stuff, I'm trying to I'm trying to make it look a little bit like silk. So I'm using some different uh, some different colours. Um, I'm using a, this colour, which is a pastel violet, which is actually a colder colour, not a warm colour. Um, so I've gone up from a warm base into this. Thanks, Terea into this uh, pastel violet just to try and distinguish it from the rest of the piece a little bit and then with my placement of my highlights I'm trying to be a little more um, like a non-metallic metal in the way that I'm thinking about it so we can try and get some reflective bits. Thanks J Shields I've got to stop talking about Bilal Garengarang because every time I think about that guy 
I just get fucking song in my head. Grudgy! What's going on, mate? How are those bullfeds going? You played played a game with them yet? Slippy slow. G'day! It's time. Oof. Nearly ten o'clock. We are gonna have to we are gonna have to finish up a little bit early today, friends, because I do have to go have lunch with my dad on a Father's Day. Which is cool. Night Captain Carp. Night mate. Um, so let's zoom out and have a look at her from a little way off because sometimes when you look at things too close it's you don't get a good sense of it. Um, yeah, there's, there's certainly things that are looking okay. Sleepy Slaying, it was actually, uh, Captain Carp won the draw this month. So, Captain Carp, uh, wins the Nurgle Dude. So, we might, so I sort of feel like I want to do a, a pattern of some description here. I uh, just need to tweak the gems a little bit more, decide if these are gems or if these are something else. Uh, and then... Yeah, I just want to just want to keep tweaking this this bit here for some reason. I'm, and this is this is the viewing angle, right? So I don't want to have this... Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't know, I feel like just, just like a really subtle, you know, just flower pattern or something here. Yeah. 
taraflar that sort of thing don't know uh, we'll probably we'll probably do that on party Monday uh, as in it doesn't look right You are correct, it doesn't look right. Roger that, mate. It's coming your way, pal. I think we might uh, we might actually pack up shop there, friends, for the day because I don't want to start something and get halfway into a f flow and and be like, oh, got to stop. So we might just try and finish it off on Party Monday tomorrow night. Party Monday. Yeah, it was it, it wasn't uh, highlighted like the rest of it. Yeah, mate. As soon as you got here, I was like, "Cool, I'm out." I scoop. Well, I think the Eye of Sauron works. I think probably the only thing that it feels like it needs to maybe be a little bit darker around here. Uh... I did airbrush the skin, yes. Alright, let's do something that would make Alfonso turn over in his grave if he was dead, which he's not.
time for some AK Ultra Matte. But I'm actually going to add a little bit of just the Vallejo, the Vallejo matte varnish, which is a little less matte and a little more like satin. But it's still matte. Just because I feel like it gives a bit more of a secure some H2, oh yeah. Duffman says a lot of things. people with games, stories to tell, open wide, come inside, it's Deno's painting school, Do -do -do. have fun mate, enjoy your board game, I'm, uh, I'm switching off friends because I'm going to have lunch with my dad. Have a fantastic day, all of you great people. Let's find someone we can raid today, shall we? Love a Sunday raid. Love a Sunday raid. Big Dano loves a Sunday raid. <laughs> uh, let's turn this okay. on. What do I have? Right. Good. It's fucking... Bit stupid. All right, let's go uh, browse. Fuck that off. Miniature figures. Oh, Reapercon, cool. Shan't be watching that. Bark Axe, he's a good dude. I don't, I'm a novice, mate. I'm an absolute fucking novice. Oh, Pun Expectors painting Thanatos. Let's have a look. That guy uses oils, and we raided him the other day. He can get fucked. Andy Oksawa, never seen that guy. Hobby TS, painting minis for fun. 
what's the quality of this like? 720p. I love rating someone who's got one follower or one viewer. Let's go. Let's do this. We got wet vulture and I'll throw. Raid! 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 You're all awesome friends. Have a fantastic day. I look forward to seeing you all again tomorrow for Party Monday. Champions.